If you want to make some picks on your favorite sports, check out Underdog Fantasy's Pick'em Game where you choose higher or lower on between two to eight players and can win up to 325 times your entry. And using code ZERK when you sign up, you'll get up to $1,000 in bonus cash and a free pick. The whole thing wobbing. Hey guys, we have season three live in Madden Ultimate Team. We're gonna run over everything. I do wanna give a shout out to Honey Badger for being a part of the Noti Gang. If you guys want a chance to shout out the next video, drop a like in the vid. Make sure you guys are sub to the channel. Notification bell on, comment down below. Noti Gang. Also, if you guys have not already checked out Underdog Fantasy, yesterday we had a couple of profit boosters. I hit my MLB and my NHL profit boosters, almost three hundred dollars in wins. Every single day of October, guys, there are new promos on Underdog, including today. We have two more thirty-one percent profit boosters. I'll pick out for those later today however if you guys check out underdog fantasy right now using code zark you get up to a thousand dollars in bonus funds and you'll get a bone nix 0.5 yard free pick and only when you guys sign up with code zark right now before sunday at 4 p.m you're gonna get a second 0.5 yard free pick the mahomes exclusive code zark free pick and also you guys tomorrow we do have thursday night football i'll likely have my picks out either late tonight or tomorrow morning we're still waiting on some injury news normally i'd have picks out like wednesday afternoon but can't really do them right now and then next week we have the nba returning as well so a whole lot going on don't miss out also guys i'm recording this video actually after doing everything else so you'll see everything else here but i did want to showcase this really quickly again follow me over on twitter because stuff like this i don't know how long stuff is gonna last but this is not necessarily a massive deal, but it's a time saver. As you guys know, when it comes to the new objectives, right? You have some objectives that track in every game mode, including solos. Well, these are tracking right now in solos. The passing touchdowns and the interception milestones right here. So literally go play any quick solo, okay? I'm doing like the training camp first sequence, final one. It's like a 75-yard touchdown. It doesn't matter which one you do. Pick a random one, throw a touchdown pass. It's tracking in solos. It's not the biggest deal ever, but saves you a ton of time instead of having to grind these out necessarily in solo season solo battles head to head i'm gonna get these done in like two minutes and you're not supposed to be able to do that do it all right so as you guys can see season three is now live right now i just logged in somehow i'm already level two uh as you guys can see though we get a season three welcome pack now the tickets offer the ticket store is not gonna be available until tomorrow uh, as you guys can see right here, we get little tokens right here. Uh, we also get 84 overall BND Season 3 Player Fantasy Pack and 85 overall upgrade token as well uh, in terms of these players i don't know if we're gonna be able to fully max them out instantly or not we'll let you guys know tomorrow maybe i'll have a video uh going over you know the best ones to upgrade first team of the week is dropping later today around 4 30 p.m eastern which by the way we already know who they are we'll showcase that information here uh, in just a couple of minutes we don't know the stats but mutt leaks actually tweeted out the players already uh that's dropping at 4 30 though tonight at 7 p.m eastern time we have the most feared reveals and then also guys we got the angry runs pack right here which okay did i actually get it where is where's it at i had the angry runs pack maybe it auto open let's uh double check on that you can see things look a little bit different right here in the menu here the menus definitely look a little bit like larger it appears uh you guys can see the season three xp token i do have my token to use so let's go ahead we'll use that right here get a twenty thousand xp that's gonna take actually thirty thousand xp that's gonna take me all the way to level four where we get a strategy item now like i said in terms of the ticket store that's not gonna be here until tomorrow we also will not have these uh, season offers until saturday so we'll be to see them there and now let's take a look at this because this is where things get interesting guys we have the normal field pass okay as you guys can see whoa okay so here it is it's gonna pop up right here so this is the premium field pass okay so it looks like you have some rewards that you get instantly and then you have ones that you just then go ahead and get so for 1500 points there a way for me to like actually click into here to see i'm just gonna select the free pass for now oh did that just lock me into the buying the free pass or did i hope that didn't just lock me in to only the field pass so uh as you guys can see right here this looks a little confusing for level one if you guys buy instantly if you buy the premium field pass which is 1500 points about 15 bucks you're going to get one of two bnd players 87 overall sean taylor and chase young you're also gonna get cj stroud or lt then you're gonna get an 85 plus overall elite fantasy pack 380 plus overall platinums and an 86 overall upgrade token then as you guys go through through the field pass you can kind of see the difference between the premium and the normal so if you buy the premium at level two once you guys get here you're gonna get a 78 overall platinum 
Level three, you get a rare strategy item. With level four, you're gonna get an additional 150 season tickets. Level five, you're gonna get an additional 5,000 coins. Another random strategy item, more tickets, uh, premium rare platinum right there. Premium platinum, premium rare option. Uh, you get a training pack where you can get 500 training, 85 overall upgrade token. There's definitely a lot of stuff that you get. It's literally every single level. These like ones that are locked here. Let me move my face cam. All these ones you see at the end of every single level that are locked right here. Yeah, that's what you get. 5,000 coins, 250 season tickets. There's not necessarily anything here that you won't get uh, that you can't earn through like the regular. Here you get a season four XP token though at level 21 that you can't get unless you have the premium pass. That's going to help you going into season four, 5,000 coins, max training right there, and 80 overall player token. You can see you still get stuff going through with just the normal field pass as well. Premium epic option pack right there, 10,000 coins, uh, training. You get an 89 overall upgrade token at level 30, 80 or 85. Yeah, to be honest, a 90 overall upgrade token here at level 34, level 35 legendary option, more season tickets, a 91 overall player upgrade token right there at level 37. Uh, yeah, without a doubt, it is absolutely worth buying the premium pass, I gotta say that, but I will tell you right now, just personally telling you, I'm not a big fan of EA doing this. Now, I understand that there's not like anything in here that you can't necessarily earn just from playing the regular stuff like there's not like an exclusive player or anything but all of this is pretty crazy right getting all these 90 minute overall upgrade tokens getting extra xp towards the next season and at the end you get an epic strategy item right there which you won't get unless you do have the premium field pass so you can still technically get everything in this pass at some other part basically right so you don't need the premium field pass because you can still get a season uh, four xp token i think it was like level 20 or something but with the field pass you do get an additional right here level uh, 17 you get a season four xp token but with the premium field pass you get another season four xp token you get a bunch of extra coins you get a bunch of extra season tickets you get a bunch of extra 91 overall uh player tokens that you can then use instead of you know using your season tickets you can then use just the tickets in here or the tokens in here it most certainly gives you a lot of benefits okay now i gotta say this i think that stuff like this is cool to have like an extra benefit however all right i don't want to see ea doing stuff necessarily that's going to make it to where buying the field pass is like a necessity i don't necessarily feel like this is a necessity per se it is 100 worth it to get but I don't want to see them especially so start hiding specific players that you can only get by buying the premium field pass, right? That is 100%, a billion percent pay to win if they make it to where it's like next season, season four comes out. There's a 93 overall CD lamb. You can only get him if you have the premium field pass. That is where I would absolutely hate that. In general, I'm not the biggest fan of them starting to do this. We knew this was going to be coming eventually. It's in basically every other game. Call of Duty, Fortnite. It's in basically every other game. Is it worth it for the 1,500 points, which is about 15 bucks? In my opinion, absolutely. Uh, I think it is worth it, but yeah very interesting that being said of course i myself am going to go ahead and get this pass here so i can showcase all this and of course get the extra rewards to go ahead and showcase for you guys throughout the season uh but let's go ahead upgrade the premium so you get up to 49 premium rewards again it's 1500 madden points so 15 bucks right do i feel like it's worth it absolutely in my opinion because instantly you're already getting season tickets you get an 85 plus overall elite you get some 80 plus overall platinums you get a 78 plus couple more 80 pluses rare strategy item 86 overall upgrade token and then you do get two free 87 overall bnd players instantly so uh yeah absolutely i think that's worth it chase young sean taylor honestly i don't really think uh necessarily either of these guys can make my team at this point but We'll go with Deshaun Taylor, just to go with Deshaun Taylor. Ladanian Tomlinson, CJ Stroud again. Don't think these guys are going to make my team, but I'll go with Ladanian Tomlinson. You know, he can be RB number three potentially for me. Then we get a rare strategy item. Maybe we don't. Let's try to open that up again and see if it actually opens up here. Rare strategy item. Okay, it's, it's not working. It looks like we can actually go ahead and open up the rare strategy item pack right now. Very awesome. So, paid for that and uh, can't open it up right now. All right, uh, we do also have a bunch of these platinum packs and everything. 85 plus overall elite player as well. So we have the three platinums. I mean, hey, just based off the platinums alone, like literally just off of the instant rewards that you get. I tell you guys, if you're spending points on like 
anything, right? On special offers, all of that, you want to make about ten dollars. You want to make a hundred k for ten dollars spent. So eighty plus overall platinum. This is just the instant rewards, right? I've already made forty thousand coins. Then we also get ourselves another 80 overall. It's made about 54k. We have this 85 plus overall fantasy pack right here, which we start off with a breakout. Okay, 85 overall. And we get a team of the week. It is 85 Josh Downs. So how many coins did I just make off of just those packs alone right there? I just made myself, if this will scroll down here, about 40k. So I just made about 80,000 coins right there. And then I have all of the extra stuff you get throughout the season pass. Like I said, is it worth it? Absolutely. But EA, do not start adding into this field pass. In particular, specifically, players that are hidden only behind the pass. That is when, in my opinion, it gets way, way too bad. I do think in terms of these extra rewards and everything, is it worth it? Yes, absolutely. In terms of milestones and stuff available right now, passing touchdowns, interceptions, first downs, team tackles, uh, do your XP set right there. And then we also have the daily objectives and that's basically it. So that's pretty much everything that's live in game as of right now, guys. Like I said, Team of the Week is later today around 4.30 p.m. Eastern time though. However, Mutt Leaks did already go over the players. So let's cover those. Well, as you guys know, we are gonna be getting Team of the Week weeks five and week six later today around 4.30 p.m. Eastern time. It is not gonna be at 1.30 p.m. like normal with content. It's gonna be around 4.30 p.m. Eastern time. As you guys can see though, here are the players. Uh, EA did say they would reveal the players at some point on Twitter. I'd imagine that'll be like much later this afternoon. Uh, so yeah, in terms of the stats, don't have those, but we do know who the players are. As you guys can see right here, we have Bo Nix, a couple of other players as well, David Montgomery, you can notice down below, uh, Stefan Gilmore right there, Zay Flowers as well. These, of course, are going to be the heroes. And as for the champions of Team of the Weeks 5 and 6, again, per usual, no LTDs, no packs as well with Team of the Week. So, yeah, kind of unfortunate. Uh, we do have Brian Branch right there. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Nothing to say about that. Frankie Louvu. Uh, we have Joe Burrow as well. Maybe a decent card. Of course, the Team of the League cards, though, in terms of abilities, they're not always great. So, yeah, it is what it is there. Uh, Keenan Allen. Don Tucker right there, number 44 for the Bucks, And also Tank Bigsby. So, we're going to get two running backs, which is pretty interesting. Overall, okay for Team of the Week, right? We'll kind of have to see how the cards are. Keenan might be a little slow. Frankie Louvu might be kind of solid, though. And then Brian Branch. That'll probably be the best card, unfortunately so. With that being said, guys, I hope you did enjoy the video. And if you did, make sure you drop a like the video. And of course, hit that sub button down below. Let me know down below what you guys think about the premium field pass. Are you going to get it? Do you think it's worth it? Do you think it's too much? Do you think it's fine because there's not exclusive players? You guys can let me know down below what you think about it. But yeah, there's the, uh, the premium field pass. Everything with season four. That's basically it. Get to work on your milestones. I will catch you guys later today with team of the week. Like I said, should be out around 430. New catalog face. We also did get an update today as well. Uh, so we did get a couple things like the double mug blitz is now patched. The pump fake glitch that is also now patched. A couple of other things as well. Hope you guys enjoyed. See you guys next time. If you guys enjoyed this video, check out these.